So over on the good old Instagrams, what if you guys like told me I should go to JLo's Instagram page, right? And just look at her comments and stuff. So I did, and holy moly, dude. Like this is bad for JLo. I didn't even know this was going on. Just check this out. So she posted this new magazine cover or whatever, right? Seven days ago. Look at her comments. She is acting like she's innocent. Can you explain what you did at Diddy parties? Shame on you. You will all be locked up one by one. Julia Roberts allegedly disclosed that Jennifer Lopez played a role in helping Diddy gain influence in Hollywood. Recently, Diddy has brought attention to various allegations, including serious charges such as trafficking and misconduct. The ongoing legal issues have resurfaced stories about his past relationships, including with Jennifer Lopez, who dated him from 1999 to 2001. Lopez and other celebrities connected to Diddy have mostly stayed silent regarding the allegations, raising questions about the response from the entertainment industry given the severity of the accusations. I always felt bad, but now worse. I hope your kids don't grow up to be like you and have friends that go to freak offs, poor kids. And then even when you guys go to this post from six days ago, has 120,000 likes or whatever, but clearly she's aware of the comments, right? Because the comments on this post have been limited. So she knows people are commenting this stuff. Question is, since she's well aware, is she gonna speak out about it? You know what I mean? If you're limiting comments on your post, you obviously know everyone's commenting about Diddy calling you out. So it's like, what are you gonna say about it? I don't know, dude. I didn't even know this was going on. One of you guys just told me to check it out. Damn. Various celebrities are concerned as their names get linked to recent controversies regarding Diddy. Among them, Jennifer Lopez is highlighted due to her past relationship with Diddy. Their public debut as a couple happened on a red carpet, and Diddy is credited with helping launch JLo's music career by supporting her first major album. All these stories are coming out and all these celebrities are freaking out that suddenly their names are involved. But the biggest one that you and I have both heard is concerned is Jennifer Lopez. She was his girlfriend for quite a while. The first time we really took note of her on a red carpet was the year that she went with Diddy and wore the famous green Versace dress. That launched her into the fashion world. And they were together a decent amount of time. He helped produce her first big album. She was there with the club shooting. I remember her standing on the steps in court of the courts in New York in a big white fur. She's got to be like, I, I don't need any more drama right now. She's not having the best year of her life, is she? No. No, she is not. In the late 1990s, Jennifer Lopez and Diddy were famous for their coordinated fashion appearances at events like the MTV Video Music Awards. They frequently wore matching outfits, often in white, creating a stylish and unified look that attracted significant media attention for their impressive and synchronized fashion choices. They're always dressed to impress. MTV couldn't get enough of them. Remember TRL? Anywhere they went, paparazzi followed. This was a different time. Everyone wanted to know what they were going to wear. Buffy's white party loved up and everyone was like, OMG, they're so cute. Then December 1999, they go to a party in New York. There are pew pews involved. They both get arrested. Later, JLo was off the hook. I vividly remember people were like, goodness gracious, poor JLo. She's with a bad boy. They should break up. But they didn't. They went to the Grammys together. She wore this Versace gown. Everyone lost their minds. They coordinated wearing matching white outfits at the MTV Video Music Awards. Then it came all crashing down. Valentine's Day 2001, they announced they broke up. Seven months later, she married Chris Judd. And then they divorced after nine months. Diddy and Kim Porter reconciled. Although maybe they were seeing each other in between and who knows who else he was seeing. There's reportedly a tape involving JLo with a brief segment provided showing a woman allegedly resembling her. Plans to release a DVD featuring the footage were halted after JLo's business attorney, Beanie Medina, intervened. JLo was connected to Diddy at the time, making her a target. Somebody gave me like a minute of a female that was allegedly J-Lo on it. I was gonna put all the DVD on that. J-Lo had her, her business attorney, this, this guy named Beanie Medina. He was the one managing you know, J-Lo and Puffy at the time. That's the only reason we was going after J-Lo. J-Lo was with Puffy, so J-Lo was all the war, right? Her PR people, it was about eight top-notch 
executives inside this meeting when I'm walking in. They were on me, so I was like, woo, sure. Rumours also claim that Ben Affleck is considering divorcing Jennifer Lopez because of her alleged past involvement in inappropriate tapes with Diddy, which may lead to legal issues. The resurfacing of these tapes has reportedly created strain in their marriage, adding pressure to their relationship amidst the controversy. But now with news breaking that allegedly J-Lo is on those braid tapes, freak off tapes, and we already talked about that that was the reason that they were getting divorced. And I'm going to tell you all about that. And we need to get caught up because I don't like how I uncovered this J-Lo stuff August 3rd. Well, let me show you real quick everything that happened, how bad it got. And we're going to get to J-Lo. Diddy's longtime PR guru has called it quits. Disconnecting name, disabling the emails. In other words, she's saying, get somebody else to do it. Now, it's been widely known in the industry that J-Lo had sex tapes with Diddy. Now, those tapes were the reason that her, her, her first husband, Chris Judd, and then uh, ended, and then also Ben Affleck. Now, what I said August 3rd was, the rumor was Ben Affleck was pushing for divorce all out of nowhere because he got wind that the Puffy Diddy freak off tapes um, were coming out and J-Lo was on there and she could be implemented and charged. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's relationship faced controversy from the beginning. Affleck publicly addressed her alleged connections to Diddy. His comments fueled speculation about Lopez's interference with Diddy, adding to the ongoing debate and drawing more attention to the situation. Back in the early Ben days, because there's a Ben, there's a there's the before Ben and then the now Ben. We actually have a soundbite from your 2002 album. Uh, you're talking about your relationship with him. Let's let's take a quick peek oh, at that. Oh boy. <laughs> Feel like you have a partner. You know what I mean? Somebody standing by your side who supports you and is your best friend. Nothing has changed. Isn't that so? I say the same thing now. But you feel that way about him now. I do. It's been rumored that they are like separating. not doing well separating. He was like photographed without his wedding band on, but then they've been seen together ever since. Like it wouldn't be surprising to me if they got divorced. Yeah, if they just like weren't doing well. And she liked something on Instagram that was like very weird. It was like a carousel. Yes, of <laughs> what you sh need in a relationship or something like that. Okay, anyway. well, that's a tall tale sign. Yeah, <laughs> no, like, like a, a random Instagram account. <laughs> She's saving it for later. <laughs> yeah. She's like, you got to read this. Yeah. And it was like, your partner doesn't like spend time with you. Like it was all stuff like that. And she liked it. And I was like, Jayla, what are you well, doing? Well, maybe she needs to go back to her bodega and get to her roots and calm down. The content shows an image supposedly involving Jennifer Lopez, Diddy, and another woman. Whether the viral content circulating on Twitter is real or digitally altered, it has gained 13 million views in one day. Due to its explicit nature, some parts may need to be blurred. The image is astonishing and potentially shocking if proven to be authentic. Now guys, I wanna be honest, I have no idea if this is AI, Photoshop or what. It is going viral over on Twitter. It already has 13 million views just today. And here it is. So there you guys go, October 14th, 13 million views and check it out. So it says JLo, Diddy and who's this and J-Lo, I'm gonna be honest, bro. We gotta blur that out. We gotta blur that. We might have to blur out the other woman too. I mean, hey, I'm gonna show as much as I can, but this is the crazy. Like if this photo is real, this is the craziest photo I've seen yet. Like. If this is real, this is wild. Numerous photos of Jennifer Lopez and Diddy are circulating online, showing her standing close to him, which suggests a strong connection between them. The images have sparked speculation about their relationship, with some wondering if substances might have been involved during the times these photos were taken. Oh, I can't imagine what happened here after the picture was taken. Also, look at that that bad hair up there that like it's flashing back so badly that is some bad hair but JLo you do not go unnoticed I see you right here in the corner right up next to Diddy now I don't know if they were told to give a serious look here because gosh I mean or they're on some crazy drugs because look at JLo's face can we do a zoom in on JLo's face because what is she on I'll take a couple I'm just kidding I don't want any of that also speaking of uh, is that Jay-Z back there 
I don't know if it is, but I am ready to talk about his connection to Diddy. In so many of these photos, you can see really powerful people. Jaguar Wright has also accused Jennifer Lopez of concealing Diddy's alleged misconduct, suggesting that Lopez might have protected him from public criticism. Wright noted that Diddy was the only long-term partner J-Lo had, hinting at a strong connection that could have influenced her actions amidst the ongoing controversies. J-Lo is just, I don't know. Every man she's been with has said the same thing, except for Diddy. Diddy's the only one that said she was a great girlfriend and how he wished he hadn't have messed it up. Now, how is that the only man in her life that had regrets about their relationship but everybody else ran for the hills? <laughs> like, it's not nobody noticing that. That everybody else that's left her, oh, she was too this, she was this, she was that. But Diddy said she was perfect. <laughs> Maybe she was meant for the metal. What thing. happens if you're only perfect for the devil? God, yeah, yeah, yeah. What damn. the f does that make you? Damn. Furthermore, Wright has alleged that both Diddy and Jennifer Lopez could face investigation for their roles in a 1999 nightclub shooting incident. In this incident, a victim claimed Diddy physically mistreated her. Wright also pointed out that an episode of Law & Order SVU may have been inspired by the real events of that night, suggesting a possible connection between the show's storyline and the shooting. Jaguar Wright told us that J-Lo is going to be investigated with Diddy. Jaguar Wright said that Diddy and J-Lo are both going to be investigated for the 1999 nightclub shooting where the victim said that Diddy pow powed her in the face. Jaguar Wright said that there was a Law and Order SUV episode that was made depicting the truth about what really happened that night at the nightclub and who was all involved and how a rapper was made to take the fall even though it really wasn't him and how they tried to get this woman away from having to testify. And she said that this episode depicted the truth about what really happened that night and then Law and Order SUV took this episode down and then scrubbed it. That Jayla was depicted as an actual accomplice and she was taking part in these crimes. So I went and did a little bit of digging because I found this super weird and it said back in the day Lopez may have had a hand in Puppy's case, says an eyewitness. Jaguar Wright also said that in this episode that they were hiding the woman that was depicted to be J-Lo out that way she wouldn't have to testify. And as you can see here, I pulled up another article. Lopez won't testify in Combs' gun trial. Jennifer Lopez says she will not take the stand at the weapons trial against former boyfriend and rap mogul Sean Puffy Combs. Jennifer Lopez should be held accountable for her alleged role in negatively impacting Natana Rubin's life. It accuses her of being untrustworthy and implies that she may have helped cover up Diddy's supposed wrongdoings, thereby shielding him from facing consequences for his actions. Jennifer Lopez, when she's finally held accountable for the part she played in the harm that was put on Natanya Rubin's life. Do you think they'll bring up charges on Jennifer Lopez? They better. She committed perjury. And the attorney that was representing the defense side of that suborned perjury. Last time I checked, there's no statute of limitation on perjury. We can start there. Let's bring Jenny to the cell block. She's been to every other block. This is Sometimes they'll open up a case to bring light on other cases. Do you feel the shine, uh, the club uh, night with him and Jenny, Jennifer Lopez will come back to light? Oh, absolutely, it has to. As Diddy's controversies grow, some believe Lopez is quietly managing her public image. Although she has distanced herself from him over time, lingering legal issues may still connect them. Her lack of comment on Diddy's arrest is seen by many as a way to prevent negative associations with him. So we all know that Sean was 21 when he was convicted of murder, assault, and reckless engagement, and he was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Yes, 10 fucking years. Diddy, on the other hand, got his charges dropped steaming from the shooting. By 2003, Sean was dropped from Diddy's Bad Boy Records and one year later, he publicly said Diddy betrayed him. And we all know. Now this is from Vibe Magazine. Now after Sean was released, he went on a bunch of interviews and one interview he did was Drink Champs with Noriega. And the conversation topic 
everybody wanted to talk about was the infamous 1990 shooting at New York City nightclub and the trial involving him and Diddy. Now, on numerous occasions in the past, rapper turned politician has spoken out against Diddy, his former CEO, and how he avoided prison time, while Shine did a bid for 10 years for his role in the Pow Pow. However, he since had changed heart, revealing that he no longer holds a grudge against Diddy. Shine goes to say, I don't really blame him now as much as I did then. Shine explained to Nori and DJ Ian, ENF, EFN, I'm sorry, because I did go through a stage of bitterness. Jennifer tried to distance herself from Diddy, but rumors suggest that Jennifer Lopez may still be linked to Diddy, potentially through financial or PR support. Allegedly, federal authorities have also questioned her connection with Diddy. Because somehow J-Lo and Diddy are still entwined. Now, some people say she's paying for PR, lawyers, maybe she's helping him out with money. They are tight. Right? She, they even, over the pandemic, was FaceTiming with uh, A-Rod and J-Lo or FaceTiming with Diddy. Ben saw that not only is there that embarrassing connection of you were with Diddy and all this horrible stuff is going to come out. People did say that the feds have questioned J-Lo. Okay, all this horrible stuff is going to come out that is very, like, really embarrassing. The ongoing situation surrounding Diddy has left Hollywood in shock, with many celebrities, including Lopez, feeling the pressure as their connections to him come under scrutiny. A real and explicit tape involving Diddy and another prominent individual has surfaced, raising concerns and fears among those linked to the situation. Mr. Combs was in the tape and this other person is... I would venture to say more high profile than Mr. Combs. Really? Or I've seen deals of the video. Okay. Um, I so you can verify that. I, I, that it exists, that it's real, that the other person in the video is very visible. It's no question if it's that person in the video. And I can tell the video was pornographic in nature. Diddy has cautioned his inner circle about possible repercussions for their roles in his controversial activities, especially those linked to his notorious parties. As his situation in jail deteriorates and conditions become increasingly worse, the pressure on his associates in Hollywood grows amid concerns about being implicated. Diddy is not going down without a fight. Diddy's close associate has been making waves recently. So Stevie J, a notable producer implicated in one of the lawsuits and was there during the raids, took to TMZ Live to defend his friend Diddy. But that's just the beginning of the story. Stevie didn't stop there. He took to Instagram to drop a bombshell by sharing footage from Diddy's star-studded 50th birthday bash, attended by the likes of the Kardashians, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kanye, and Kevin Hart. So with the lawsuit alleging Diddy holds compromising footage of all attendees from his infamous parties, Stevie J just issued a stark warning to all his friends. Reports also claim that Diddy has started naming other prominent Hollywood figures, such as J-Lo and Jay-Z, allegedly linked to similar criminal activities. By implicating these high-profile individuals, Diddy appears to be shifting some attention away from himself as the scrutiny of his actions continues to intensify. But one thing I want to talk about is the P. Diddy uh, arrest, um, his denied bail, the celebrities now that are running. You got people scrubbing their accounts like Pink, Megan Fox, uh, other celebrities. You got Dwayne Wade now being aired out. Uh, this is this is a cascade effect that's just going to, it's going to be a web of intricacies that lead to everybody. Um, you got so many, so many celebrities right now terrified. And the purpose of this, and the reason why it's simmering right now, uh, is because they're being adrenalized. From my, from my understanding, from the people that I've talked to here, talked to here this October, we're going to see more names released. That's just a hunch. Uh, we're going to see the push for World War III. Things are going to escalate like we've never before seen in October. Uh, I think this is going to lead to politicians, to everybody to everybody. Um, but like I said, both sides are going to go in. And uh, they failed twice on Trump, which means they're going to use other methods and means 
to accomplish a goal. Attorney Tony Busby discussed on Stephen A. Smith's podcast that several public figures, Hollywood insiders and associates of Diddy, have been named as alleged co-conspirators in ongoing legal cases. We have a long list of names. Um, and obviously, um, th this is a very sensitive situation. The worst thing we could do is name somebody who was involved or allegedly involved and not have our ducks in a row. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be involved right. in ruining someone's Understood. reputation uh, by, by making a mistake. Um, you know, obviously, a lot of this is hard to corroborate. I mean, you're talking about a situation where somebody is, you know, who who's, thinks that all their dreams are about to come true. They're there with somebody who's a mega star and other stars in the room. But yes, there are people who owned private homes, people who own private venues, uh, people that were in the room, people that I'm going to allege uh, knew what was going on and either participated in it, um, encouraged it, egged it on, if you will, or somehow benefited from mm -hmm. it. And, and, and that's going to be different for every case. I mean, these, these are individual right. cases at different points in time with different people involved, and there'll be different defendants in each case. Without naming names, because certainly I appreciate you being responsible enough. And dare I say, I would have been responsible enough to say, I'm not, I, I'm not going to even get into names uh, of, of allegations. I wouldn't put that out there. E further emphasized that accountability extends beyond Diddy to anyone connected with him. This development adds complexity to the situation, attracting heightened media attention and fueling speculation about their possible involvement in the allegations. Alleged co-conspirators, are they public? Public figures? Are they well-known people in Hollywood, in the music industry? Are they people who worked for P. Diddy Combs? Could you be specific in that regard? I would say yes to all of all of the above. Yeah. People yes that, to people, all of the above. All of the above. People that names that you would know, some people's names you wouldn't know. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned until next time.